Now, there is another one I'd like to bring up. Uh, in the southwestern parts of the state of Illinois, there are 200 Cahokia pyramids. And uh, when I was there, I spoke to the main archaeologists, and unfortunately, whatever they teach us about those pyramids is wrong. First of all, they call the city the Sun City. We don't know its real name. They call this park Cahokia State Park. Cahokia are the minor Indian tribe from the 17th century, and the pyramids were built much, much before that. Then they call those pyramids mounds. Now, mounds is really underestimation. Mounds were built from the soil, but these are the structures. You can see four different types of materials, sandstone blocks, pebbles, sand, and what they would do in order to cover the pyramids, they would cut the grass with the soil, they would cut the squares, they would place them upside down on the pyramid, and imagine what, in order to build the biggest one, which they called monks, mound, they used the equivalent of 226,000 trucks of material, 20 tons trucks and trailers. 226,000, that's a huge. Plus, they built 200 pyramids, not one. And instead of expecting the American scientific community and all archaeologists from the U.S. go there to figure out how they build them, what was the purpose, who, I mean, they don't even touch them. They were telling them they cannot get the permits, it's very expensive, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's amazing. We have such a valuable thing on the U.S. soil, and we do nothing about it. My son in Houston never learned a word about it in his history books. That's a shame. I mean... Just because it does not belong to the white European settlers doesn't mean that it is not valuable. It is very valuable. Now, you see, all 200 pyramids are oriented towards the north, the cosmic north, all by one. The biggest well, one. When you, when you say yes. the cosmic north, you mean that um, it's not magnetic northern north? Star. No, exactly. It's a northern star. And, <laughs> and I'm glad that you mentioned that because... I said all by one, and the biggest one is oriented towards the magnetic north. Now, some people know that the cosmic north is fixed, but the magnetic north moves. Now it moves about 25 miles every year between Canada um, and no, no, that's 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 not true. It's just been updated. It's now moving 40 miles a year. Well, it was 42 kilometers, you know, the last thing I read. But oh, 42 north, kilometers, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that was the one. About 25 miles. Uh, yeah, but... I, uh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, Go thousand on. years, it was moving like six miles a year. Of course, what we do, the great damage we do to the planet, that's the reason why, uh, you know, it's acting so tactically. But the point is, those who knew the difference between the cosmic north and magnetic north were not Indian tribes. They were very advanced civilizations. Those who were using hundreds of thousands of trucks of material, they were not primitive Indian tribes, like they suggest us at the museum, at the site, and they are saying it was built by the tribes. The tribe does not have a social organization or engineering skills or the knowledge to build something like that. 